let's say you have a saturated solution of MOH2 and you found you have hydroxide concentration of 0 0.0010. What's the KSP of MOH2? KSP, so what, are we, what reaction are we looking for here? So MOH2 must be a solid, right? Since we're talking about its KSP. What would be the products for this? Two hydroxides, obviously, right? So what must be the charge of your M? Plus two, okay? So again, you set up your ice table. Let's say you start off with an excess of this, an excess of a solid, okay? Saturated solution, that means you have a lot of it you have an excess at the end, and you don't worry about it because the activity is just going to be equal to 1, right? Oops. Saturated means, saturated simply means that if you mix it with water, you still have some solid left behind there. So you have your M plus 2 and your hydroxide ions here, okay, in equilibrium with your solid. So you have a large excess. So, and the activity of that solid is equal to 1. So you don't worry about it. But if you lose uh, x moles of this, how much M plus would you get? You get plus x moles per liter. And you start with no hydroxide. Again, we're assuming there is none, although there is some. It would be negligible. How, may, how much hydroxide would you make? It's going to be 2x, right? So plus 2x. So at equilibrium, you have x moles per liter of M plus 2x moles per liter of hydroxide. So what's our KSP expression? KSP equals M plus 2. What's M plus 2? Raised to the power 1, right? Coefficient here is 1. Times hydroxide raised to the power 2, so that's squared. And what's the activity of the solid? It's just 1, so that's just your expression for KSP. So what's our M plus? Our M plus is X. Our hydroxide is 2X, so this is going to be equal to 1. X times 2X squared. Okay? And what is my, how do I simplify this? What is 2x squared? 4x squared times x, so that's 4x cubed, right? Do I know x, though? What information do I have here? You're told that hydroxide at equilibrium is 0 0.0010. So what's hydroxide? This is your hydroxide, right? This is 0 0.0010. So what is X? Divide by 2. So if 2X is 0 0.0010, X would be 0 0.0005. 0, 260, right? So you just plug that in. You say that's equal to 4 times 0 0.00050 cubed, and your KSP is equal to 0 0.0005 raised to the power 3, this is cubed, times 4, that's 5 times 10 to the negative 10. So 5.0 times 10 to the negative 10. Okay, so that's how you solve for your KSP. Right. So if you know how far, what the concentrations are at equilibrium, set up your ice table and look at your equilibrium concentrations, and that, that would allow you to solve for the extent of the reaction. X here, you can call that for the extent of your reaction. Okay. So how about this one? If the solubility of bismuth sulfide in water is X, what is its KSP? Okay, recall what was the um, uh, dissolution reaction? Gives you two bismuth ions 
plus three sulfide ions. So if the solubility, solubility means it's saturated. You've, if you've added enough so that it's saturated, right? And then that would be the concentration. What would be the KSP? So I'm just trying to figure it out. So I'm going to lose x moles per liter of that. So I'm going to make 2x moles per liter of this. And how much of this will I make? 3x moles per liter. So at equilibrium, I'll have 2x of this and 3x of that. Oops, C and D are popular choices. Okay. Um, KSP equals bismuth raised to what power? Two. Sulfide raised to what power? Three. And what's the concentration of bismuth? 2x. So raised to the power of 2. What's the concentration of sulfide? 3x raised to what power? 3. You want a second chance? Okay. D is a popular answer. Um, one more time. Uh, who picked a different answer? Yes. What, what, what answer did you pick? Why did you pick E? Okay. 2 squared is 4 and 3 cubed is 27. The whole thing is inside the parenthesis, right? So this is going to be... 2 squared, x squared, 3 cubed, x cubed. So that's equal to, this is 4 times 27, that's 108x to the power of 5. Okay, so the correct answer is E.